So I'm not sure what the rewards are going to be for this dragon tournament. It says using only champions from specific factions. That's the Banner Lords, Barbarians, Sacred um, Order, and then the High Elves. Conquer the, uh, Conquer the Dragon's Lair using only champions from the Talarian League. And I'll show you guys who those uh, guys are. So if you go to the index, you can see up here it says Talarian League. That's these four factions right here in the index. The Galen Pack are these four guys corrupted up here, here, and the Nicerian Union is here. And whoever this is, we still don't know. But for this dragon thing, tournament, event that's coming up, you basically have to only use people from these factions. Pretty self-explanatory. If you're lucky enough to have legendary champions, if you're lucky enough to have the really strong mythical champions, well, it's pretty much in the bag for you. You don't have to worry too much about it. For those of you who don't, which is based on what I'm seeing from a lot of you guys in my comments, many of you guys don't have OP champions. A lot of you guys are new. So I thought I'd go ahead and do my best to be relatable. Uh, it's going to be hard, I'll be honest with you, because even though I do have these champions and I've put together an epic team, and I'm going to talk about some of the other teams that I, I, I would consider putting together, it's going to be hard. My gear isn't going to be, I don't want to say attainable, but it might not be most readily available to most of you guys watching me and i don't say that as like oh look at me I'm, I'm great because i've spent a lot of money and time and raid it's more like you know based off what i'm seeing in the comments and so i just want to let you guys know that so when it comes to doing the dragon if you're not able to just smash through everything and completely fucking raw dog it there's a couple of options here the most notable champions that I want to bring up are probably going to from I'm gonna show each faction and then I'm gonna talk about them. Um, Stagnite, pretty much anywhere you bring him, he's gonna do well. So I would consider bringing in Stagnite if you have him. Um, War uh, sorry, not Warcaster. Ursula is a great one because she brings the ally revive as well as increased defense and strength. If you happen to have her, she is a void. But if you happen to have her, she could be potentially useful for you during this but stagnite because of his aoe decreased defense and decreased attack that's going to go very well in your team for the waves and for going up against the boss decreased speed on the a1 is going to be quite useful as well in the high elves from the epics as well as i'm going to give a shout out to apothecary because he's going to be in this team with his speed boost and his heals um, he's going to be quite useful here royal guards a royal if you have multiple royal guards then you know multiple royal guards but his enemy uh emhp move is going to smack very hard decrease the defense on the a1 decrease speed and turn meter pushback on the a3 it's mostly going to be this here that's going to help you speed through a lot of the things here and also if you have um where is oh crap i don't know why i thought dark um a uh, cold heart was here but she's not in this faction and in, in this league but Tyrell would be another great one. AoE decrease defense, sleep, pushback turn meter, stun on the A3, decrease attack on the A1. Kind of outdated, but he's still pretty good. Thanosil, if you have him, OG champion heals, increased defense. For the longest time, he was like one of the few epics that actually brought increased defense, so he's really hard to kill. Decrease duration of all enemy buffs, but basically heals, increased defense. Luthea's pretty nice, I think. Uh, freeze, decrease speed, AoE moves. Uh, Neldor Rizblade, great champion. Freeze on the A1, mostly for Fire Knight, but decrease attack, decrease accuracy is good, decrease speed as well. And then whenever an ally places Freeze, this champion has a chance to attack the target. Uh, well, that's the passive, doesn't really apply here. But the Freeze, the turn meter control, sorry, basically his debuffs and CCs are going to be pretty great for the dungeon as well, specifically in the waves. And going on to the Sacred Order, you're looking basically at Fenax would be pretty good for just doing straight raw damage. Deacon Armstrong, huge turn meter manipulation, as well as decreased defense on the AoEs and uh, Leech on the A1. Plus he brings the speed boost in the dungeons, all battles by 19%. If you have Sham, I'd bring Sham too. He's pretty cool. If you need somebody to revive, Cardinal if you have her with Stone Skin, Godseeker and Eerie, same thing. Heals and... Um, revives barbarians for the epics uh ferric and the fat actually 
AOE, not the AOE, sorry, the ally attack would be pretty huge. And then he also brings the HP burns and the poisons, decreased defense on the A1. HP burns and poisons are going to be pretty huge. High Katoon, Speed Aura, also turn meter boost, and uh, that's basically a yeah, turn, turn meter manipulation. So those are kind of your main options that I would be looking for. If you have any of those champions that I just talked about, go ahead and try them out. And if I missed anything, let me know. So if you're not at the point where you can basically just solo the hard dragon or even do any hard dragons and um you know there's nothing wrong what i'm trying to say is there's nothing wrong dropping in stages so i've done videos before where i showed you guys that hey you can do stage one or stage four if you just want the rewards from the event or the tournament you could just do the lowest stage and do it very easily and just get the points i don't necessarily recommend it if you want to get good gear because the ideal situation is assuming you have the time right the ideal situation would be to do the highest stage you can go even if that's hard one remember hard one is better than even normal 25. if you can get into hard you're going to want to try and get the mythical gear and the item drops so it, it, like if you can do it i would try to do it but if you can't that's totally fine do the highest stage you can go comfortably at 100 percent but there's nothing wrong with dropping stages. You can, you know, do one, four, seven, 10, 13, 16, at least by the 13th stage you're doing, uh, you're, you're getting a chance to get six star gear. But for this one, I'm gonna show stage 20, right? So I put together a team here. I didn't really set up any presets, but this is what I'm gonna use. I'm using Royal Guard in position, the leadership position because of his increase to attack by 35%. AOE, I forgot the word. Stagnite is going to bring the AOE decreased defense and attack. And uh, Farrakh and the Fat has the ally attack. Inquisitor Shamael is going to help out with doing a little bit more damage. And so will uh, Royal Guard. So I'm going to show you this on stage 20 and we'll go through it together. And it's basically just knocking out everybody one by one. So, you know, Sham isn't really built for damage. He's mostly built for doing Hydra. So I don't have him in a uh, damage set. Sham is gonna be in a reflex, uh, reflex set. And Stagnite is built for Fire Knight. My roll guards are both built in Savage Gear. So they're built for damage. Not the best Savage Gear. I just kind of put whatever was lying around. That's the other thing I like about Inquisitor Shamael. He places fears on everybody else so they can't do anything, assuming you get some kills. But it looks like nobody on the opposition was able to take a turn. Theric and the Fat here is negative affinity, so those buffs or those debuffs did not land. But Farrakhan the Fat does bring the ally attack, and so that helps you to pump out even more damage. You see right there the Royal Guards are putting in some heavy work. And this is the ally attack. Very nice move here. I didn't like Farrakhan the Fat at first, but, you know, He's proven to be quite useful, especially when it comes to Fire Knight. So the event isn't live. I'm just showing you guys so you can prepare. There are options. I, I thought I was bringing in... Um, I thought I'd brought in Apothecary. But yeah, there's definitely options. You know, the basic things that you're looking for are going to be... Especially if you're trying to get through the waves. A, we decrease defense. If you can get weaken in, that's pretty huge. Survivability is going to help a lot. So decrease attack is going to be quite useful decrease speed um, and just damage like the faster you can go the better i'll show you quick stats off of the preset section here 210 and again not exactly the most attainable especially if you're new but you can scale depending on if you want to do this event or not like you can scale to different difficulty levels so it is what it is um but there you go attack your for your damage dealers you're looking for attack Make sure 100% crit rate and as much crit damage as you can get. You do want some survivability in case you get hit, but as you saw, nobody really got the chance to take a turn on stage 20 just because we're going so fast. I mean, 306 speed, 317 speed on Farrakhan the Fat, Inquisitors at 217, World Guards at 206, and I just had to upgrade his glove and then he would have been at 100% or 100 crit rate. And, you know, that's one option there. If you're a little bit on the higher end, and you've been playing for a lot longer, you do have other options. So my my actual team here is, um, actually, let me go back. 
let's look at some honorary mentions for doing um dragon if you have legendary champions obviously the pool is so much wider if you have legendary champions i, I don't even think i need to mention taurus and marishka but like if you have some heavy damage dealers uh quintus i've never actually really delved into him he just never really appealed to me but you get him from live arena uh baron does some heavy work timid actually I don't think Timmit gets enough love, but I love Timmit. I think he's a great champion. Rathalos Blademaster, a lot of you guys probably have him. Ronda could be great for clearing waves as well. Staltus, obviously. Septimus, a dragon killer for sure because of his EMHP moves. Kaja is going to be awesome for survivability. Helior, same. Uh, Riktoff the Bulb, I don't think Riktoff gets enough love. He's not like the best champion, but you know, I've had, I've had to use him a few times. And then, actually, does Adeline? A lot of people have Adeline. She has a debuff transfer. She's got heals, sleep, decrease attack, and decrease speed. Decrease attack is going to be useful against the dragon. And then allies deal 3% more damage for each debuff placed by by her. So And, and she's got the heals, so that, that helps as well. Here, you're uh, definitely not going to want to use Pixneal. Lana Theral, ally attack, for sure. If you have these guys, I'm pretty sure they're pretty... I keep saying pretty sure um forgive me for saying that i'll try to find out a different word arbiter arbiter was actually somebody i used early on in my my dragon team as well so you have arbiter speed boosters and lissandra as well ethos would be great for some aoe corvus i'm going to talk about corvus in a bit pulse ring people are talking about how pulse ring is really good cupidus would be great myth martyr would be great Venus and Cupidus together would be great. Venus actually has the decreased defense and the weakened Cupidus just smacks really hard. Like you have options for sure. Cardio, ally attack, debuff removal, revive on death, depending on like what kind of gear you have. Sill, great for the waves. Survivability, heals on our passive. Revives are Mons, awesome champion for wave clearing. Valkyrie, Tuana Rock, Yakarl is great. So you have options there. What I would do for um fire knight probably for this mission right because um like if you have corvus i feel like corvus gets no love but let me let me bring out corvus real quick if you can hear my cat yelling he's hungry even though he just ate not too long ago so corvus is a great champion for soloing and if you wanted to make it like even more sturdy i would probably consider going up against the ninth stage just so you could get um more what's the word um sturdiness out of it but i'm gonna go ahead and show you what he does on stage 10 my actual team is where is it right here my actual team is right here to wave clear and then to get through the stages but here i'm just going to show you um everybody from these specific factions so we're looking at these top four ones right here and basically i would solo i would probably just try to solo with corvus because he puts up the poisons uh, like he, he has decreased attack on the a1 he has um increased duration of enemy debuffs so those poisons and increased ally buffs if you have buffs on him and then he places poisons and poison sensitivities and that's basically what's going to kill the dragon increase or decreases the damage under enemies sorry decreases the damage enemies do if they have poison on them up to 25 percent. so it makes him very sturdy on top of being a defense-based champion and then he brings that ally defense increase by 30 percent i'm gonna go up against stage nine just to increase the survivability chance because we are stronger against the spirit affinity especially if you're going by yourself you want to make sure you're taking every advantage to make it make to make sure it's 100 percent so we're going to go ahead and do this wave clearing here. He is in region and I think immortal maybe, but we're not really sure. You want everybody else to die, especially if you're bringing in food, just the way his masteries are set up. Setting presets would be quite useful. So placing the poisons first is what you want to do instead of letting him do his A2 where he increases the duration. All right, so we're here at the boss. And as you can see, he is not doing the most to us because we're really strong we're super strong guys we're like really 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 strong have you guys seen zoolander 
so yeah, he's weak hitting against us and that's pretty nice and it's basically just us poisoning the dragon to death and we're pretty much safe against the spirit affinity and so that this is probably what i'm gonna run Defendo, Reducto, Spirit in the Benzo, Accio, Hole, because these crocs need a quick blow. 